Hello, I'm Darius the Nerd, and I'm here to talk to you about how I first got into cosplay. If you follow my Instagram, the link below, you'll know that I'm quite an avid cosplayer and I try to make my impact on the cosplay community. And on this very channel, I've done a series of interviews with cosplayers at MCM last May. Now you see, all of that, including near enough effort that I'm into nowadays, could be stemmed back to this one story of how I got into cosplay. Because through to the cosplay community, I was able to get myself into other nerd culture into many different things which now have a huge impact on my life. I mean, just look at that alone. A lot of that comes from the community I was able to be a part of through cosplay. Now the year probably about 2010, 2009, I was in the first year of college and a friend invited me to go to a zombie march through town. Now if you don't know what a zombie march is, essentially hundreds if not more people dress up as zombies and they march through in October, obviously as part of Halloween. And funny enough, this isn't where I met the cosplayers. You see, the event went on so late, I had to stay at my friend's house in the end. This was completely unplanned. And the next day, we decided to go get some food, go into the town. And when we went to the local food court area in the shopping centre, we found some people dressed as, well, Naruto characters. Obviously, this triggered my curiosity, and I went over and asked why they were dressed like this. At this point, I knew about cosplay, and I knew about comic book conventions, but it had generally only ever been stuff in America. This is the stuff I had known about. I didn't really think there was much of a cosplay or convention scene in the UK, despite my research. Little thing, I did really bad research. Once I spoke to them, I discovered that they actually had a cosplay group in this town, and they gave me the appropriate information, and I joined up. And through that, I was able to, you know, meet other cosplayers, meet other people. Of course, the cosplay group eventually disbanded and a new one started and disbanded and started and it kept rolling like that. But in essence, the cosplay community never went away in this town and I was always a part of it in some degree. And of course, later on, I went to conventions and cosplayed there. And this is all stemmed from the fact that I randomly saw someone dressed as Naruto eating at McDonald's. It only happened because I accidentally stayed in town way too long and missed the bus. It only happened because my friend invited me to go to this zombie march. It's one of those things where whenever I think about just how it all happened, how anything in my life had come to where it is, it was the most random occurrence of events to set it all in motion. And like I said earlier, thanks to the Copic community, I've established myself as the nerd I am today, something which I'm incredibly happy and proud to be. And well, there we go. I know it's only a short story, but it still was the most impacting stories of my entire life. The fact that this all happened has led me to where I am now. And that's, you know, no small thing the other day. And I would love to hear your stories about how you got into cosplay and the overall impact getting into cosplay has had for you. Because let's face it, through it, we've met many brilliant people. We've done many brilliant things. And it's just, it'd be great to hear from you what it's done for you. Of course, feel free to follow me on Instagram. You could always message me there and follow my stories because I ask questions about what people want me to talk about because this channel is still very new. And of course, I want you to subscribe. I want you to share and like and go and check out my cosplay interview from MCM. It's, well, you know, it's a starting off point and I'm incredibly proud of the work I've done with it so far. And, you know, have a good time. And honestly, like, enjoy cosplaying. Don't let things get you down. And if you're ever oh, struggling, like go out and seek help. It's there for you. And I want to make sure that everybody who I have any interaction with can get the best out of life. And because in the end of the day, it's about you and your happiness. And I hope that you can come and watch my videos again in the future. I'm going to try and set up some kind of decent upload schedule. So, you know, life doesn't always work out the best, but still, you know, thank you for watching. It's been nice. Bye for now.